Hey guys, Coach Royce here. Welcome to my first broadcast from Phoenix Fitness. Today's subject, you guessed it, the deadlift. What I want to talk about today, guys, is what I believe to be arguably the biggest mistake that people make when they approach the barbell to deadlift. They don't pull the slack out of the bar. Guys, we physically do not have the capacity to get enough hip flexion to get into the proper position to get our leverages right and engage our hamstrings and glutes to perform the deadlifts. And what you end up with is a person will get into position, they'll squat down really deep like this, the knees will be way in front of the bar. If they don't have a rounded back in this position, they're at least in a posterior pelvic tuck. Obviously you're more prone to injury and this is not an efficient movement pattern. What ends up happening is they, they yank on the bar, hips will dart up first because they have to, to get the knees out of the way and correct your leverages, and your weight ends up over your toes and you end up with an extremely inefficient movement pattern. The funny thing is, People actually feel stronger doing it this way. They feel stronger yanking on the barbell, and they feel stronger when they think they're pushing the floor away with their quads. I promise you, you're not stronger this way. So here's what you want to do, guys. Approach the barbell, get into the closest position that you possibly can. Set your hand position. Pull the slack out of the bar hard. You're going to literally bend the bar before you even lift it. Pull the slack, get your pelvic tilt, Engage your hamstrings and glutes as much as you possibly can. And at this point, your shins should be almost vertical. This is dependent upon your femur length, but your shins should almost be vertical. So there you have it, guys. Pull the slack out of the bar, set your pelvic tilt, and it should look a little something like this. So there you have it, guys. So a couple of reasons people do this. I already mentioned the primary reason is because people feel stronger when they use their quads to push the floor away. You're not stronger that way. The second thing is it's a lot of physical labor to get into that position and to pull that pelvic tilt. You're expending a ton of energy doing that and people, let's face it, sometimes we get a little lazy and people just want to yank on the bar to get it moving. And I promise you, yanking on the barbell, you're not going to break inertia faster than when you get your setup right. So thanks for watching my first video, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.